Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have right here, Average Troll Morocco. We have a beer that is from Guy from Beer Guy Reviews. This is Ale de Hardy, which is a barley wine. It is a Quebec barley wine. What is it here? Uh, Brasseur de Monde, so Brewery of the World. <sighs> ABV, sorry guys, I am blind. 10.5%, so Ale de Hardy. So he had sent a bottle of this to uh, yeah, Monsieur Lee. Yeah. There's a lot of fucking French on this. Yeah, well, it's... Do you want to read any of this? No. No, I don't care. So this is basically a barley wine. Yep. Yeah, so basically this is like a clone of Thomas Hardy. That's what it's supposed to be, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Guy, for sending it. Really appreciate it. Uh, yes, thank you very much, Guy. I know Mr... Mr. One Hoogly. Well, I don't think he uses Hoogly. He uses Hoogly for the beer reviews, but now he's no longer El Harlock, but Lee creamed himself over this until he had the actual Tom Hardy. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa hang on. <laughs> the Tom Hardy's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, that's half. That's more than half. I don't know. That's, that's yeah, a little more than half. Fucking, Really good. I can smell the fucking beer. I don't know what. That is a nice tan head. Oh yeah. Look at the fucking oh, color. That is beautiful. What? That's a. Oh, I don't even know. It's what almost that is. like an orangish red yeah. weirdness. Almost like a bronze. I'd say bronze. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't fucking. It's a weird ass color. Oh God. Is it that... Mal Maniac Heaven? Oh, it's... Out of the bottle, you know what it smells like out of the bottle? Nibs. Oh. Tons of toffee out of the bottle. Nibs, what are cherry, what? Uh, the cherry, uh, the fully, like the solid cherry, cherry licorice candies. Can't really tell. But then there's also like this to pronounced toffiness as well. Oh, it smells fucking yeah, good. Lots wow. of toffee. Lots of malt. A little bit of alcohol, but what is this? Ten and a half, Ten right? Ten and a half, yeah. yeah you're gonna get a you, even out of the glass, I'm getting a little bit of cherry. Yep. Well, now candy I just cherry. Swir just swirl. It smells very much like the bottle. Yeah, cherry, toffee, smidge of caramel. Mm. The hops, there is, there is a hot presence there, but it's very dialed back. Very, very dumbed down. Mm. When was this, uh, I don't know what the fucking little dashes on here mean. 1113, I'd assume this means it was bottled on 1113. Or yeah. bottled in the 11th month, which is November yep. of 2013. So four months old. Yeah. I'd imagine that's the, I think that's the notch to when they bottled it. But. All right, let's get into it. Cheers, good sir. Oh, that is nice. Oh, very smooth. Toffee, lots of toffee, mm -hmm. lots of caramel, lots of vanilla, some coconut. You're getting coconut. I am. Hmm. Let me get back. Getting in just a touch of it right at the back. A little bit, like a mm. wow, it dissipates instantly. Though, like I, I got yeah. it for a second, it was gone. You get it right at the back, and poof. Mm. Super sweet, though. Holy oh, Christ! Yeah. And I still almost get that candy cherry taste that I got from the scent. Oh, I'm definitely getting cherry, and uh, like you said, the nibs, the red licorice, not so much as that, but again, not a black cherry, oil, just like a sweet cherry. Lots of sweetness. Wow. Tons of sweetness. And almost no bitterness at all. No. I mean... It's super smooth. If, if there's anyone who you've ever met that is like, I don't like beer, it's bitter. Eh, there is no bitterness in this whatsoever. It's very sweet. Not saying necessarily that person would like it, but it's... 10.5% alcohol by volume, and really not much of an alcohol burn. No, in the nose, I would have said yes. In the taste, none whatsoever. I like this. Mm -hmm. Guy, you are the man, because this is actually a really good beer. It makes me want the actual Thomas Hardy beer now at this point. 
Well, you can't get it because I know you were sent it to Lee. Well, yeah, because you were fucking goes on these weird websites where you can purchase like two bottles, fucking fourth handed from <laughs> some person that's fucking been selling them. They're fucking buying a bunch of them and just fucking hoarding them, and it's just like mm, what? But I did hear that I think they're coming back with the Thomas Hardy L at some point. Really? Yeah. Could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I heard that though. I don't. I don't Won't know if that's gonna make him look the fool. Well, it depends. <laughs> it depends if it comes back and the quality is the same. I don't know if it's going to be the same brewery. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure it's coming back at some point. But regardless... Regardless, we, for two people that can't get Thomas Hardy and we get without a, paying our left nut, which I wouldn't mind because my left nut doesn't work anyway, uh, good my, beer. Mine does, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a big fan of that. But yeah, it's, it, as far as like a clone, I guess this is pretty much to try to clone it. Uh... Yeah, it's fucking tasty. Uh, the, if you're a hophead malt, make, malt maniac, if you're a malt maniac, yeah, this is this is for you. Lots of sweetness, tons of malt character, tons of tons of different. It, it is complex. It is complex for what it is. I would say anyway. I mean, it has some of the. Now they're specifically saying this is a barley wine. I don't yes. know. I thought Thomas Hardy was an old ale. Or was it a barley wine? I don't remember. I don't remember myself. But as far as barley wine, I don't think this has as many characteristics as a typical barley wine for me, yes. I think it stops at the caramel and toffee. You know, you throw in the, 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 the cherry note and some of the coconut and stuff. I don't typically get that in non-barrel-aged non barley wines. Especially English barley wines. American barley wines are hot to piss, so who knows. But I wouldn't say oh, this is an old ale. Just a very malt-forward beer. I would agree. It's fucking good, though. 10.5%, it'll fuck you up. Yeah, Guy, Guy, Guy knows what's up when it comes to the very, very dangerous beers. <laughs> he does. When it comes to very dangerous beers, it will fuck you up. He is the man. And that worries me when him and Cousin Pascal are around. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about Pascal compared to Guy. Like, I'm very worried about Pascal. Yep. Big bad things are going to happen. So what do you think, uh, rating list? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I don't think it's dance worthy, but I'm thinking eight five eight seven five ish. I don't know which one. I gave the uh, what do we give the eight seven five to or the eight five to? Uh, in the night? Fuck. You give it to that. I think. The coffee pail. Yeah. This is more my style, so I'd go eight seven five hot. We already danced once a night, stuff like we're trying to get out of dances. I just don't think it's it's a regular English barley wine has nice complexity to it, but it doesn't wow me and like oh my god I fucking need this every time. If someone handed this to me, if this was available, I would try to purchase this pot. You know, if this was available at like Premier or available at the LCBO, I would pick this up and have it on hand when I'm in the mood for a barley wine. Not even a barley wine. When I'm in the mood for a nice multi sipper. I agree. I eat some of five for myself as well, and it's the same thing. Um, not a bad beer at all. No. Really good. I don't think it just nine and up for me is the amazing beers. Mm -hmm. I don't think it. I don't think it vaults that plateau. No. But it is a really solid, really great beer that is worth trying. If you can find it, get it. If you like barley wines, get it. If you just want to try it, get it. You might not like it, but you know what? It's nice to say that you've tried it. What would you say stylistically? Like, uh, like I, I said with the with the whole barley wine thing, it's like there is barley wine characteristics there. There are there are specific the caramel and the toffee stick out. What else though? I mean, I don't. I'm trying to think. Is it really old ale-ish? No, kind of. Hmm. I wouldn't say necessarily it's an English barley wine. I really wouldn't say that. It's probably the closest style though. There. It could slide into a bunch of different styles. I mean, what do you a think bunch of, of the... You could slide it into a bunch of the non-specific styles. Like what? Oh, fuck. Like, um... I, only, I, only, I, only, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but I only say that because if you handed me and said this is an English barley wine, I'd say kind of. Like, okay, like I can see where you're coming from. A lot of caramel, a lot of toffee. is very sweet, but there are some things that are missing for me. Mouthfeel wise, it's uh, it's too light for barley wine. It's medium body, 
You yeah. know what I mean? It's not quite full body where it's like covering your entire palate. That's what like the barley wine is. I mean, with with that cherry flavor, you could even put it, throw it into like a wild ale almost. Because a wild ale just means wild yeast, and you could get that cherry flavor from some wild. You yeast. could just, but when you say wild ale, most people think sour. There's well, no that's what most people think, but yeah. I mean, it doesn't just categorize sours. I gotcha. I mean, lambics aren't all sour. True, but there's a lot of really nice sweet ones in. It's true. Yeah. Um. Actually, you could even say that if if this was from Belgium, you could probably pass it off as a weird lambic. Yeah, you could almost with a fruitiness, almost into like a quad territory. Not not saying quad is in the because a lot of quads is the Belgian yeast just reigns supreme, but just the sweetness factor. Well, yeah, and that's why I brought up the lambic because I mean you could say this was a cherry lambic. You just put in a shit ton of fucking malt in it. Yeah. It's, regardless of style, now we're just. I just wanted to pick Chad's brain because, again, very experienced and you know, in terms of knowledge and of yeah, different I styles and whatnot. It's just like I, I don't think it plays the part of an English barley wine one hundred percent. Probably like sixty to seventy to eighty percent, somewhere in that range. There's still a little bit missing for me, like you said, the mouthfeel a little bit. Regardless of the style, it's a fucking great beer. Eight seven fives all around. We really enjoyed it and yep. appreciate it, Key. Really do. Thank you, YouTube. Bye-bye. Bing, bing, bing.